Hello, Booktube, and welcome to Hours in My Library. This week, uh, it's a little book of poetry, very nondescript. It's uh, The Sea Mist, I'm not sure if you can see that, and other poems by T.J.C. Burett. Uh, it's sort of flimsy um, um, card covers, and it is just under 100 pages, 94 pages. It's uh, by the Ocean Press, um, and there's no date on publication. But I think I've shown this in an, an earlier video, in one of my first videos, but it's very neat. And uh, the reason why I'm showing this is because of the association. And uh, the question is, what does this book have tangentially related and connected to Peter O'Toole, the actor? Well, we'll see. There is an inscription by the author, by G.J.C. Burett, uh, from Christmas um, 1935. And he was the captain of a vessel called the RMS Almazora. And he puts a, uh, and it's, and it's, dedicated to Field Marshal Viscount Allenby. We're getting closer to sort of the uh, Peter O'Toole there. But he he, um, he, he has a, a quote in French from uh, Maeternick, uh, philosopher, French philosopher. And you can see the inscription there. And this is, With compliments and good wishes, RMS Almazonia. Almazora. Um, it's it almost looks like Almazona, but it's I've looked it up. It's Almazora. Uh, it's a uh, it's a mail ship, and this is Christmas, nineteen thirty five, and Field Marshal Viscount Allenby led uh, while well, he was in the uh, Second Boer War, I think it was, uh, as well as First World War, and he was head of the Egyptian Expeditionary Force and in Palestine. And we're getting closer here because he he sent T. E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia, uh, into with the Arabs in order to do what he did. <laughs> um, and uh, so we do get to Peter O'Toole because Peter O'Toole played T. E. Lawrence in Lawrence of Arabia, a David Lean uh, production. So tangentially uh, connected, but uh, I can't at this point prove. This is accurate. Uh, this is an authentic inscription, but I, I have no reason to doubt it, but I have no actual provenance. I do know that um, Allenby died in May uh, 1936. And in 1935, he went to South America on, well, on a ship uh, for his health, I think to do some hunting or something like that. Uh, and he did come back around Christmas time on this ship. So, um, and it, it's a collection of poetry and this was given, uh, well, it was, it was by the captain who was the poet and there are a bunch of sea poems as well as a couple of Christmas poems at the end. Um, they're not, they're not fabulous poems, but they're kind of interesting. I cannot find this book listed anywhere on the internet. Um, I do see his name come up as um, an officer on other ships uh, at, at some time. The Almazora uh, was uh, recommissioned in 1939 to, for the Second World War. Um, but yeah, this is just a neat little connection uh, with everything. And it would be nice to be able to actually verify that this was Allenby's, it was given to Allenby. Uh, the only way would be if there is a letter um, that he wrote about, or maybe a diary he kept, or even a uh, if there's a listing somewhere, which I haven't found, or I haven't really done that much uh, investigation, but there might be a listing of items that were like maybe books that he had. And this could be part of this. How it wound up here in my local bookshop is anybody's guess. Um, 
And um, as I say, there's no date on it. It's probably self-published because it says Ocean Press. Uh, I've never come up with anything with that. There's no information on the spine. Um, and it's just as 94 pages. Like there's a Christmas card, 1930, 31, and 32. Um, and the other poems are about the sea. So there we go. There is a uh, book for this week's Hours in My Library. I will see you next time, Book 2.